Okay, guys. I am on the edge of madness right now. Seventh time I've recorded this video. Top 10 things Halloween prop makers will need. Can we just get into this bad boy? The first time I recorded this, I sent through the ad stick. I was so excited. <laughs> now I'm just annoying. Okay, the first thing that every prop maker, any prop maker is going to need is paint, acrylic paint, nail polish. I really like metallic nail polish instead of acrylic metallic. I don't know. I think this looks a lot better because it like has a glitter to it and it like shines better. I don't know. And then once you go over it with something to make it look more dirty or rusted or something, it just looks very good. So that's the first thing every prop maker is going to need at least once in this journey of making props. Um, so, the second thing that you are going to need, maybe, I don't know, you might not, it just depends on what you're making, Mod Podge or um, Gel Nail Polish. It looks really good when it's dry on guts. Um, I don't know. You can just attempt for anything that needs to look like it is fresh or like saliva maybe. Or if you're making a mask and you want it to have tears on it, this might work. So just try that out. And yeah. Something that you're really probably going to need. Well, I don't know. This is really... I don't even use this really. Um, but glue. You're definitely gonna need, like, tacky, well, you're not definitely, super glue, tacky glue, any kind of glue, duct tape, scotch tape, any kind of tape, really. Uh, you can paint over it if you don't want to paint something. Um, so you're gonna need some of that, definitely. Uh, hot glue would go here, but my hot glue gun's kinda broken, so. Yeah, I don't have a hot glue gun right now. It's at my, I have one at my dad's, but I don't have one here. So, I usually keep everything in my bag. I have my bag right here with all my prop stuff in it, but yeah, so now that we pretty much have paint, oh, here's the other thing, you're probably going to need liquid latex, you're most likely, definitely going to need it, this is all I have right now, I'm probably going to get a big bottle soon, I hope, um, so yeah, that's, I have two bottles of this, literally two bottles, so that will have to last me a while, then you're probably going to need some fake blood, maybe for around a scene, or like, if you have something and you are like making like a bloody cloth you can use this instead of wasting acrylic paint you can splatter clothing with this splatter curtains um yeah so you're probably gonna need some of that then i i assume i'm not 100 percent sure you might be like still in preschool and like finger painting and stuff but i think you're gonna need paint brushes and sponges and all that good stuff so yeah just you're gonna need some of this probably i mean i don't know some people like using their tongues, like that one painter, I don't even know his name. He liked painting with his tongue. Um, you're probably gonna need this. Some rope, maybe. I don't know. I use this sometimes. You can use this for a lot of stuff. This, like, jute. I think it's called juice rope. Jute rope. What happened to my voice there? Jute rope. Um, yeah. It's just, it's really cool. So, yeah, you can use that. Um, something that probably every prop maker is going to need, or is at least going to use once, is this amazing stuff. I don't know what it's called, just insulating foam. You know, great stuff. Um, you can use this to make intestines if you want to watch my other video on that. I will put a link in the description for that video. So yeah, if you haven't seen that yet. So yeah, you're most likely going to need some of this. Okay, now things that you're you might need, but you might not just depends on what you are, what you do. Um, I, I've, I use these. I've used these all. So, you're probably going to need tweezers for, like, maybe if you're holding something small while you're trying to paint it. Pliers if you're holding something big and you need to paint it. Or if you're trying to untwist something. Like, great stuff. Because the tube loves to get stuck on there. And you need to hold down the thing and untwist the tube off. So yeah, scissors, you're probably going to need scissors, maybe even a knife instead of scissors, but I have scissors, because yeah, and a screwdriver, I have precision screwdrivers too, the little small ones, I don't think I'm ever going to need those unless I'm using, yeah, 
that's not proper weighted at all. Like, you can use those for, like, glasses and stuff. Or, like, little small, like, battery-operated things that you can, like, use. They can put, like, flashlights or anything. Um, something that you're gonna definitely need that I don't have because it's, like, expensive. Kind of like 20 bucks. But I have a hair dryer, but that's that's not even really related at all to it. It's a heat gun. A heat gun heats up a lot. And like it shrinks, like shrink wrap. It's 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 amazing, but I don't have any. The final thing you're gonna need, and you can't make a single prop without this final ingredient to this madness, you are going to need an imagination. If you don't have an imagination, you can't make anything. You have to imagine what you're making. So, yeah, you have to have an imagination. You can use a notebook to write down your cre creativity, everything you see in your mind that you are going to make into a prop or any ideas you have that you are... Yeah, that's pretty much the video. So I've actually finished this video before I jinx it and someone called me. Um, these are all the items that you are going to need. I'm just going to title it 10 I No, I'm just going to title it items every hunt Halloween prop maker is going to need. Not even the top 10, but whatever. So, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, give this a like. If you didn't enjoy, give it a thumbs down. If... Actually, don't give it a thumbs down. That hurts me. God. Um, comment... If you didn't like it, but don't, don't, like, just comment if you don't like the Halloween, like, related stuff. Like, the prop stuff. I don't know. If you want, like, the old content back, just tell me. Because I'm, I, I like this stuff. I'm probably just going to start doing this stuff anyways. Just teaching you how to make props and making props and, I don't know, it's pretty fun. So, this is all the stuff you're going to need. So, thank you for watching. And, yeah. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Well, that didn't work.